New York, we got a problem. We got a problem. All right, well, first of all, welcome back to the channel again. So, so as of the recording of this video, I mean, it's before the Knicks play the pace. It's before the Knicks play the pace, is right. And I just noticed throughout the past few games, the inj especially last game, when they faced the Mavs, I looked at the injury lineup. Tell me, tell me if this strikes any nerves in you. You know, I'm going to read this directly from the CBS Sports Injury Report for the NBA. Look, take a look at this, right? And all these were updated yesterday, so I'm not too sure what it's going to be for game time because it's being recorded before the Knicks play the Pacers, but bear with me. Jericho Sims, out with an illness. All right, that's going to be brief. Dwayne Washington Jr., out with a thumb injury. Game time decision. Isaiah Hartenstein, out with an Achilles injury. Jalen Brunson, out with an ankle injury. You've seen previously in that game where he kind of like, not really ruptured it, but it looked like it was a sprain. Spread it to be out. Oh, it's just a game time decision. Game time. OG, out with an elbow injury. you already seen that he had surgery on it. They were now set right after the trade deadline. So he's out till February 29th at least. Julius Randle, out with the shoulder injury, dislocated. He's going to be out until at least February 22nd. And Mitchell Robinson, because he had surgery on his ankle, he's expected to be out till April 2nd. What is what is going on? Who is who? Who is the conditioning and the training staff of the New York Knicks? Because on no grounds should this many players be getting injured. I didn't even count it up, bro. We have seven players out for the Knicks. And when and when Grimes was here, technically when Grimes was here, it would have been eight because Grimes had the knee thing going on. So I I mean I mean damn what, what what's what what who who is the trainers? And I'm not the type of person to kick somebody while they down. You know what I'm saying? That's just not in my character or nothing like that. But um. A very sincere question, um, what are the qualifications to become a New York Knicks training and slash or conditioning staff? I'm not, I'm not going to say y'all just hiring anybody, but I mean like, something's going on in that facility. It's not to say that all players don't go through their injuries and illnesses and yada yada yada, but why is it a case in point that we have so many injuries now? I mean, yes, Memphis, the Grizzlies, they're struggling with their injury reports and injuries as well. But this, let's let's just focus back center to the Knicks. What's going on? You don't know. The only two, I believe, the only two that actually happened in game was the Brunson one, which is not serious. So okay, and the one with Julius, which no disrespect, <laughs> no no disrespect. It's the final few minutes of the game, right? Drown the clock out. Why are you driving hard into the paint? And I think they were up double digits too against Miami. Because that's when the injury happened with Julius. So, my question being, bro, why are you driving into the paint hard? So when it comes to those two, I could definitely understand it. You know, it's a case scenario. Hey, it's during the game. Things happen. Yada, yada, yada. Adrenaline. You know. But when it comes to the other injuries on this list, I mean, Jericho with the illness. I mean, granted, you know, if you get sick, you get sick. You know what I'm saying? I mean... You try to prevent it, but hey, if it's airborne, I mean, what what can you, what can you really do? You know, to an extreme effect. Just don't risk injury. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't got to like put that emphasis down at the risk of your body. You don't you don't have to do that, bro. I mean, I get it. It's a contact sport, but chill, relax a little bit. But yeah, that's the video for today, man. That's all I gotta say. Um, thank you for tuning in. Kept it right to the point, simple, and uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Baby girl awesome, it ain't capping the slightest She say I just should be like a Midas We'll be walking the room, we the brightest Different topics, but I'm steady vibing In the mud, but I better stay striving With the family, I'll always be thriving Creepy sets, but I cannot quit climbing Know your circle before you start typing